Meanwhile, India is on alert after the escalation in the Mideast. After urging citizens to avoid Iran and Israel travel, flag carrier airline Air India has once again suspended flights to Israel capital city of Tel Aviv. Now, the flights were resumed only on March 3rd after a five-month hiatus after the October 7th attack by Hamas. However, flights have been cancelled once again. Meanwhile, External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar also spoke to his Israeli as well as Iran counterpart. During his call with Iran Foreign Minister, Jai Shankar also discussed the release of 17 Indian crew members on a cargo ship seized by the Iranian military on Saturday. In a big development after the call, Iran has agreed to soon grant access to the 17 Indians. Rishab, my colleague joins me for the latest. Rishab, good morning. Given the current situation and, of course, how things are panning out and also with the request that India has put forward, give us a quick overall sense of what you are picking up so far. Well, definitely, India is on alert. India is uh, monitoring the situation very, very closely. Remember, around 18,000 Indian nationals live in Israel, while other 10,000 Indian nationals live in Iran. In Iran, around 2,500 Indian students study because Iran gives special uh, scholarship to students, especially from the, the state, the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, and that's the reason that around 10,000 Indians are in uh, Iran as well. Uh, when uh, this whole conflict began, India uh, swung into action and very categorically told both Israel and Iran that dialogue and diplomacy is something that should take the front seat, not the conflict. Apart from that, remember, MSC Aries, the Portugal flagged uh, vessel was seized by IRGC, the Iranian Revolutionary uh, Guard Corps, and on board was 17 Indian nationals. Last evening, Indian External Affairs Minister Dr. H. Shankar did speak to his counterpart in Iran and discuss this uh, issue. Now, what we are picking up, right, Iran is ready to give Councillor access uh, and uh, Indian representatives, Indian government representatives can meet these 17 Indian nationals very soon. This is a positive step coming in while the UN, while the G7, uh, all these bodies have come down heavily on Iran for uh, the uh, 300 missiles, uh, odd missiles that were fired from Iranian territory. And remember, this is the first time since 1979, since the Islamic Republic began in Iran after the Imperial Iran, uh, this is the first time that Iran has used its own territory to attack Israel. Iran has always been wary of Israel, but till date, Iran has been using its proxy, beat Hezbollah, beat Houthis and others to act against Israel. This is the first time Iran has officially uh, acted against Israel and that is something that has brought the whole West Asia to brink. Remember, uh, it's been six months now, it's the seventh month since the uh, Israel-Hamas conflict is going on and now this new uh, conflict has begun and that has left the world that how the situation would be. U.S. has been very clear that they are there to defend Israel, but if Israel escalates the situation from here, U.S. won't be in position to support Israel uh, logistically or uh, militarily to attack Iran. So it remains to be seen how things unfold there. For now, even Israeli war cabinet, the five-member war cabinet, is divided over the scale and timing of retaliation. And that uh, the last meeting that happened late last mm. night ended without any, uh, you know, concrete uh, agreement that how should Israel respond to this. But for now, the big news coming in that India will get access to the 17 internationals who are in custody of Iran after IRCG, IRGC, uh, you know, seized the uh, MSC Aries, the vessel that is uh, that was sailing from UAE to India under the flag of Portugal, is owned by a UK company and the owner belongs to Israel. Right, Rishabh. I appreciate you not only getting us the latest, but also the other aspects of where things stand at the moment. But for the moment, we're going to leave the conversation at that. But in fact,